Miami's all-time receiving yards leader, Xavier Restrepo, will go straight into questions. Yeah, hey, actually, that was that. Uh, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> um, you've been asked about your ascent up the list all season, but um, to get there and, and on such a big play and on such a big day for Cam, too, just how unbelievable is, is all of this? Oh, for sure. Um, I mean, first and foremost, I want to give all the glory to the men above. Without him, nothing is possible. And um, secondly, the group of guys that we have on this team are just unmatched. You know, um, I mean, me getting single coverage is a result of my outside guys, you know, working and getting open. Is a result of our running backs running super hard. Result of our O line blocking their tails off. And um, then when you got guys back there like Cam Ward, it's pretty easy. We've talked about before, but just how much has your chemistry, your relationship with Cam grown since since he got here, and how valuable has that been being being with him for the last few months? No doubt. I mean, um, I mean, this short amount of time, I feel like you know we're just continuing to grow each and every single day. You know, we haven't spent three, four years together. You know, we spent eight months together, nine months together. So um, I, I think each and every single day, our relationship is continuing to grow. Um, he's understanding me more. I'm understanding him a lot more. Um, so yeah, I mean, sky's the limit. They were showing your parents a lot on, on TV today. Just how amazing is it to, to kind of do this in front of friends, family, home, crowd, all that stuff? No doubt, specifically my parents. Um, they've seen a lot what the world hasn't seen. Um, they've heard a lot what the world hasn't heard. So um, I mean, I already know, like my mom after the game got emotional, um, and even my dad a little bit. Um, and then, you know, my little brother has no emotion, so he just, <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, not for sure. It's definitely a special one for them. Um, means a lot to do it in front of them. And uh, again, I, I'll just, all the glory to God. Thanks to the meeting, especially really against Manny Diaz, kind of recruited you to this program, obviously believed in you and wanted you to be here. Not specifically. Um, the fact that it just got done was amazing itself. Um, Coach Diaz actually gave me the opportunity to come here at Miami. So um, a lot of love and respect for him. Um, he was just on the other side of the day, you know, so uh, um, just super glad to be a Hurricane. Did you, Did you get a chance Manny? to talk with him or see Manny post game at all after the game? No, for sure, for sure. I, I went up to him, gave him a hug, um, thanked him for everything, and, you know, good words were reciprocated. You've been through the ups and downs with the program, and now you have an opportunity to get that accomplishment, and yet the team is still undefeated. How does it feel? Does it magnify the accomplishment that the team is still undefeated and you have a lot of growth to go for the rest of the year? I think the most important thing is that we're undefeated. Um, I mean, yeah, I got I got hurt, you know, um, 2022. That, you know, held me back a little bit. But I think the most important thing right now is team success. Um, without any of the team success, none, none of this would matter at all, you know. So um, I think us just going one to know each and every single week, I think that's the utmost important thing. I'm sure your your phone was blowing up, you know, when you got back to the locker room. But um, was there anything that you saw, you know, any messages from, from anyone that, that stood out to you or meant, uh, meant a lot to you? I haven't really checked my phone yet. Um, just trying to soak it all in. And uh, the people that are here, you know, with my teammates. Um, and honestly, you know, I know you guys heard the news or whatever, Mark Sr. Um, this game was for him for sure, no doubt. Um, we went to uh, Mark Sr.'s uh, funeral yesterday. And uh, it was a hard one, you know. Um, but we let know, we let Mark know that we were here for him. I don't know how the heck he played the game today, but um, he consistently just shows up at each and every single day. And I have nothing but love and respect for that guy. You, uh, I was gonna say, I, I'm pretty sure I saw you go over to Jadis after he got Richard uh, injured when he was sitting on the the bench. Just, you know, you're. You're not in the same position, you know, opposite side of the football, but yet you went over to with some words of comfort. Just talk about that. No doubt. Me and him are locker partners in yeah. the um, locker room, so uh, I see him each and every single day. A guy that's just super relentless, that works hard each and every single day, been through up and downs, and just continues to bring it each and every single day. Again, um, I'll definitely be praying for him. Um, love that guy, and, uh, yeah, I ask that everyone prays for him. Hey, you actually, had you know, a decision to make. You had a decision to make. I'm a big person on loyalty. I think, um, you know, once you start something, you finish something. And I mean, look how God works. I, I chose God. So um, all that, you know, leaving, 
might be good for some guys, but um, like our quarterback, he left <laughs> when he came over here. But um, I, again, I trust in God. I believe in God, and um, I mean, God bless us with a really good quarterback, best best player in the nation, and um, really good old line, good transfers, good defense, good specialists. Um, again, all God. That's all I said. Hey, actually, you know the list of you know the list of you know the list of receivers that have played here. Um, guys that are in the Hall of Fame, etc. To be on top of that list, and you know, does that all just seem a little surreal to you? Um, surreal, I don't know because I've put a lot, a lot of work into it. Um, humbly speaking, I've put a lot of work to it um, behind closed doors and everything like that. To be in the conversation, yes, it is an amazing opportunity for me. Um, again, NFL legends, NFL Hall of Famers that we're talking about, you know, so. Um, I think the most important thing is that we just got to get back on the green tree. Um, I, myself, failed on a couple opportunities today, so that he's not letting me get back. <laughs> um, but, again, it's all about work, being one another each and every single week. Awesome. So, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.